Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this piece of cheese using booleans in Spline. Boolean operators and 3D programs allow you to cut holes in geometry with another shape. You can also add objects together. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up to this Create New Object menu. So I'm going to click that plus sign and I'm going to create a cylinder. And it gives me this little plus sign. I'm going to hold the shift key, drag it out, and that will constrain the proportions. I'll just squish this down a little bit so it's not as tall. Move it into the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this angle parameter right here, and I'm clicked on the cylinder. And I'm just going to drag that from 360 down to something like 95. And let me just move this over. And then what I'm going to do is also give it a little bit of a corner edge there so this edge isn't so sharp. So I'll just drag that out a little bit, smooth that out. And then I'm going to rotate this piece of cheese around. And just adjust that. And I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to just grab this just to make this cheese a little bit bigger. So right now we're viewing at 100%. So we don't want to zoom in past 100% because I've noticed it gets a little pixelated. So I like to always keep this at 100%. So making this bigger is a, a better way to go. So the next thing we're going to do is give this a little bit of color. So I'm going to come over to this color parameter and I'm going to click on that. And instead of just doing a regular color, I'm going to do something called the depth. And the depth is basically kind of like a 3D gradient that we can move around. So the way we can adjust this is I can click on this little um, little icon right here where we can see the gradient. Click on that and I'm going to change it to smooth and I am going to give this some different colors here. So on this first color I'm going to come over and get kind of a yellow kind of a color something like that and then I'll click on the black and I'll give it a little bit more of an orange kind of color and then the cool thing about this depth is we can actually just move this around in 3D. And so it gives you a lot of flexibility just to move this shape around. And we can grab on some of these things to um, change the way this gradient works. And if I grab it and drag it all the way, that gradient's going to get really sharp. So keeping it a little bit smaller will give you kind of a nicer fall off, a little softer. So now what we want to do is create that Boolean. And the way that we can create a Boolean is we need two objects. So I'm going to create a sphere. And I'm going to hold shift, drag that out. And we've got our sphere. I'm going to move this over so it's interacting with this piece of cheese. So it's intersecting with it. Something like that. And what I'm going to do is hold shift so I can grab both of these shapes. And once I do that, it brings up this Boolean modifier parameter here. And I can merge these geometries if I want to. And right now you have three different settings. And the one that I'm going to do is this first one. And you can see basically what that does is it makes one of the objects cut a hole in the other object wherever it's at. So what's cool is I can just grab the sphere now and I can move it around. And so it's non-destructive, which is really awesome. And so I could just find some spots where I want to have um, a hole in the cheese. So what we want to do is we obviously want to have more than one hole here. So what we can do is do control or command D to duplicate that sphere. And it keeps it in the Boolean, which is exactly what we want. And I can just move it over and I could change the scale. I'm going to hold shift and I could do it again. Just move that over. And you can just find different spots. Again, it's non-destructible, so you can just change this at any time, which is super awesome. Control D, did it twice. So we'll move one over here. Grab this one, move that over here. And of course we could add more, but I'll just stop with something like this for now. And let me just move this up. It was giving us a little bit of some weird edges there. So, all right, and there we go. And there is our piece of cheese. And so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to give this a floor. And so I'm going to come up here to the create new object and I'm going to create a plane and I'm just going to drag this out. And having a floor in here will allow us to have a shadow. And if I move this floor up to the bottom, then obviously it's like the piece of cheese is sitting on the floor there. And there we go. I'm going to change the color of the floor to kind of a darker color there. 
And basically at this point, you can hit the play button and then you can check out your piece of cheese in a web browser. And this is how it will currently interact um, with the current settings. And it's looking pretty cool. One other little thing that I did is I didn't really like the way the shadows looked on here and I wanted just a little bit of a different look. So I just clicked down here, kind of out of this area up here, and it brought me to just this kind of global panel over here on the right. And one thing I could do is turn on the fog. So I was just experimenting with some different looks in the lighting. And so what I did is I hid this directional light, just turning off this eye, so we have no directional light. And I added in some fog. And the fog, I just thought, gave it kind of a nice, kind of a softer look. And I changed the fog color right here to more of a uh, purple color in my example. Can't remember the exact color that I used, but it was kind of along these lines. And let me just adjust this near just a little bit so it's not completely covering the object. But I just liked the way this fog looked in, in here for this particular object. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.